It's a strange thing. People are taken in strange ways. People shut down. People scream, sob, and gnash their teeth because they think. Once they've had enough and committed their love onto the earth, it gets better. They can move on. But I was one of them who couldn't. I needed vengeance. Some sick bastards took a shun into my wife and ended up brutally murdering her. I met a man. His name was Matteo. He mocked me at first, asking, why didn't you go to daddy for help? The thing was, I had gone to my father. But your man refused. He said that because I hadn't joined a business and shown loyalty to family, why should he help me? The truth is, I know he was in small. He's stuck in his old ways, this is my old man, with all his talk of family sticking together when an outsider tried to break us. <laughs> well, he obviously didn't think that to me. Damn him. But well, I'm not here to talk about it. Matteo said he'd avenge my wife for me, but that's a price. In return for his men taking out the scum, I had to become what's known as the bludgeon. The bludgeon is more or less a hitman, except a lot nastier. That's what makes his mob so notorious and frightening. When a normal man will shoot to kill from distance, the bludgeon gets up in a person's face. They look you dead in your eyes as they kill you. But I had to do it. I knew enough about the mob world to know you can't just take. You've got to give back too. I didn't like it at first. The guilt crippled me. I was no killer then. I had to kill a woman. I felt terrible for it. But eventually, I started to get a kick out of it. The remorse turned to adrenaline. I laughed at the people I hurt, as if the pain and suffering gave me power. I bragged and boasted about what I did. I kept a list of names and laughed as I ticked them off. I was no better than the bastards who killed Talia. What I didn't think through was the fact that Bridget must remain anonymous. At least to the outsiders of the Klein mob. I didn't think Matteo would catch up with me. But word on the street, he is. Whether I like her or not, I'm a dead man if I hang around. My father wouldn't help me now. If you meet him, Mateo. Plan to see him. I'm at least write him a letter before I leave the country. I can't tell him where I'm going. Because knowing him, after what I've done, he'll track him down and kill me himself. If I'm boring you, or you're as angry with me as he is, I can't blame you. I'm a shitty excuse for religion. I I guess I better go and face what's coming. If I get out of this country alive, <laughs> I'll be a very lucky man. Thanks for listening.